Today we are welcomed with open arms by a mate who's taken the family bush, and we city slickers hang with some sheep. Well, well, Wellington. They say sometimes the journey is just as important as the destination. Well, that's certainly the case on our Aussie road trip. There's nothing like a few hours on the road to listen to some music, brush up on some TikTok moves, and crack out a few vintage dad jokes. Why would you never die of starvation in the desert? Why? Because of all the sandwiches there. Oh, it's <laughs> so bad. I Sand, which is the sandwiches there. Oh, we know. Oh, my God, it's so bad. My mate Tom pulled up sticks a year ago and looking for a tree change and perhaps a happier life, moved his family to Wellington, slap bang in the heart of New South Wales. This is Tom's property just over a year ago, ravaged by drought, like thousands of other properties around the country. We had no idea what awaited us on Tom's farm, but it was part of the road trip we simply couldn't miss. Well, what a difference 12 months makes to the land, to my mate, and to his family. This is my family farm. So uh, my family moved out here in 1978. Um, I went away to school, as a lot of people did out here, and never really returned. Um, I bought it off them probably 15 years ago. And so it's something we've always wanted to come out and bring the kids out and, and experience what it's like to grow up on a farm. Wellington's a bit of a, um, a secret gem. It's blessed with natural beauty. Um, just over the ridge over there, we've got Burundong Dam, which is three times the size of Sydney Harbour. We've also got the Wellington Caves uh, mm. here. A again, um, often overlooked by people, but when they do take the time to um, stop in and have a look, they're always blown away by exactly how big and, and how amazing they are. One of the things I wanted to explore on this road trip was that, you know, I I've considered myself like as city slicker as they get, but everyone knows someone they went to primary school, high school, uni with a next door neighbour who now lives in the middle of nowhere. Yep. If you go and catch up with them, wanted experience. My kids were doing things this afternoon on that farm that y y you couldn't put a price on it as an experience. Oh, there's no doubt about that whatsoever. They are priceless um, experiences, and it's it's great for those kids to have that sort of a childhood. Life on the land is a big part of the Australian story. And it can be very thirsty work at times. Now, while I don't speak sheep all that fluently, I have spoken with plenty of people on our road trips so far about the Aussie spirit. So many people talk about a sense of camaraderie, which it turns out really came to the aid of my mate when he fled the city. A family moves to a country town like this, and despite the fact that the farmers out here are absolutely completely busy, they are more than happy to lend a hand. They're not precious about the information that they've got or the type of sheep that they've got or the way in which they farm. They're really, really happy to see someone else succeed, particularly someone who's as novice as I am at, um, at farming. You told me you were gonna come here for a year. I get the impression you're not going back in the immediate future. It's amazing how quickly things change and how um, quickly the kids are settled into schools and life out here and how, how much they actually really do genuinely love being out here, you know, riding their motorbikes around and, and meeting new people and, and having a totally different lifestyle than one which was on the beach. It's great to catch up, mate. Likewise, really good to see you, mate. And thanks for coming out and taking the time and coming and visiting us. So the next time you're on a road trip, look up an old mate or check out a farm stay. There's a beautiful patch of Australia just waiting for you. Join me and the gang next time as we go on a kayaking adventure that can only be described as wet and slightly wild. Strap yourself in for a, yeah, not all that scary, ride. I love an Aussie road trip. If you're loving the Aussie spirit that we've encountered on this road trip, well, it doesn't get much better than Australia's best talent uniting for the annual Australia Day broadcast. Catch it on your ABC, 26 January, 7.30pm.